The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 18. You get the Nasdaq up 14. S&Ps are up 4.5. Gold's trading down a buck at 12.18 an ounce. You get silver down 77 cents. $15.81. You get platinum uh, at $9.17. Light sweet crude up $0.21, cents, $45.85 a barrel. Uh, you know, that crude market, just the numbers came out. It went all over the place. It, it did. It, it ended up being up, you know, $0.35, $0.45. Cents. Uh, but when you think you're going to draw down like that. I know. I, Seven and a half million barrels, right? Yeah. You're expecting like two and a half? Right, yeah. right. There's a lot of oil out there, man. That's for sure. Bonds, 10-year note down two ticks, 125.14, 30-year bond off eight ticks, 152.17, and good old King Dollar up 83 ticks, 95.595. King Dollar needs some love, man. We'll you get, see. We got Yellen taking questions right yeah, now. We'll yeah, see what can happen. Yellen's taking questions. Uh, we get the Euro at 114, the Yen's at 113 and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade Think or Swim. And don't forget, folks, every trading day right here, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time, you want to understand the option market upside down. Today's Thursday. We're going to be talking futures on Thursday. Him and Scott, they got a great show. If you haven't test drove the Think or Swim platform, come over to our website at TFNN, hit the banner. You can bring up the platform. It's an outstanding platform, folks. You can trade with paper money, get to understand the platform, and there's just... It's a professional platform that they brought to retail traders. For sure. you got to love it. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It, it is. It, season. That's right. We're going to get that song going for you. We, in fact, we'll, <laughs> we, that, you know, we're going to kick that I off tomorrow. I think tomorrow is really the kickoff. We, we, got, we're going to have that ready at noon time tomorrow to kick that off. Man. Yeah. We've got Citigroup. We've got Wells Fargo. We've got J.P. Morgan. We've got PNC. We've also got a, a small regional bank. So tomorrow, it's all about banks. Today, we're going to talk about futures, but we're also going to set up earnings plays for tomorrow. Nice. Nice. So, because all those earnings and the banks are before the open. Right. So, we have to hit those trades on today. Oh, yeah. So we're going to work through those and get those ready today. That's right. And, you know, as Kevin's speaking here, folks, what happens is that it's 7 o'clock in the morning that this baby's getting kicked off. Yeah. And, you know, Kevin, what's going to be intriguing is that, you know, the, the XLF didn't get any love yesterday. You know, so it's like, okay, you know, in J.P. Morgan, what, it, I mean... What's happening with these banks, folks, they're teetering on breaking out. They're, they're right at the top of the range of the last six months. And I guess give us 24 hours, we're going to know where that <laughs> shakes out, man. Right. And, you know, think about it, Tom. And we, we spoke about this yesterday on Swim Lessons. Normally, the macroeconomic effect of a lower 10-year yield, which the 10-year yield broke hard yesterday. Yes. Right? So it's a little higher today, but it got down to 2-3. Right. Uh, yesterday, and the banks really didn't get hurt yep. because the micro story, which is the earnings are coming up right there. So people were kind of unwilling to sell them, even though normally that, that would be a pretty soft day for banks when you see bonds up like that and yields lower. Sure. You know, the, the bond market, I think, is still throwing all of us for a spin. You yeah, know? It's pretty sure. wild. Yeah, it really is. It's, it's you know, the, you know, Janet Yellen's talking. She wasn't backing down from, you know, going up on short-term rates. Right. And the bottom line is, folks, if the short-term rates keep going up, the rates are going up. <laughs> right. Right. You know? But, True. Tom, Mo, I, I personally thought, though, her comments were fairly dovish. Yesterday. Yes. She did talk about one more rate hike th this year, but then she, she definitely hedged as anything past that. So I think she's really going to look at data, and uh, I think – uh, you know that I thought the markets, the bond markets, saw that as she was pretty dovish. No, no, I, I agree. I mean, they oh, didn't okay. kill gold. You know, so right. if they don't kill gold, it's like okay, man. You know, we get we get some more time here. And if, you know, if we bring up the uh, implied uh, probabilities for the Fed fund futures, 
Uh, it doesn't get over 50 until March 21st of 2018. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah, they're still, I, you know, if I'm trading those Fed fund futures out there, I don't think it's a lock that we're going up because, you know, let's go back to the fundamental data. The fundamental data is not showing inflation. Right. So right. she's going to have a case where she doesn't have to raise. But whether she will or not, well, that's another thing. I mean, the Fed fund futures will tell us. Right. I They'll know. Give us that first look if they start moving, you know, the, the percentages start going up. So that's where the real money's bet. It right? is. And th those All th the rhetoric doesn't mean much over the Fed funds futures. That's where people bet the real money. Yeah. On rates will be. And, you know, uh, yesterday, uh, I'm not sure if you had seen it, but uh, when I was doing the show in the afternoon, there was a trade. They were talking about this trade came across at 2.30 in the afternoon in the option market on bonds. On the 10-year bond, someone bet $10 million on a strangle. Ooh. Yeah. And I saw this coming across. I'm saying to myself, I, I don't even quite understand, like, the whole concept of it because it's, it's a strangle. And what they were saying is that they're just looking for, and, and this this expiration is next Friday. Okay. Okay. So it's like, wow, man. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, hey, we'll. we'll I mean, think about it. It's real simple. The the owner of the strangle wants it to go as far away of those, from those strikes as they can. The the person who sold that strangle wants it to stay in between those strikes. Right. That's the bet. The, okay, that's, the, I'm so yeah. glad you said it, because inside the article on Bloomberg, they have the two lines. Okay, so right. I'm going to go look at those. That's Perfect. awesome, man. That's awesome. See that, folks? You stay here, you're going to really understand this that's option right. market. 12 o'clock, right here at TFNN. Kevin, you have a great one, a safe one. We look forward to the program. Always a pleasure, guys. Have a great day. You Thanks, too. Kevin. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow right now is up 6, Nasdaq's up 13. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now are up three. You get the Nasdaq up six. S&Ps are up three and a half. It's Thursday, so it's natural gas day. We always get some good action. We got earnings. We got inventory reports. We got Yellen speaking. But yeah, we have the EIA natural gas at 1030 Eastern. So let's jump over to the Nadex platform, see what we have going on. So we're in the commodity spreads, natural gas. We're looking at the August contract trading at 297 right now. Now I was jumping around. These are the dailies that expired at 2.30. Let's okay. start at the 11 AMs. We're trading at 298, call it. Yeah. Um, 295 is gonna be our option that we could use for the 11 AM spreads. Yep. I believe that's gonna be the same it is for the 12 o'clock expiration spreads. 295, so you'd have a little bit of a bullish bias, 30 cents to the upside, right? Three cents kind of head start to the upside. And let's just see if we go into, so here's one where if we wanted to go to 230, we could have from $3 being our pivot point up yeah. to 340 and down to 260. So that's gonna be different 40 cents. And then let's look at the larger ones. So that's the same looking at, now here, just real quick, this is where we always jump around, right? Let's see. This is where if you're ever gonna make one of these daily large type trades, right? With this one has 50 cents. Let's see what yeah. the comparative is gonna be. Did I do that right? No, I didn't. Uh, I was selling, I did it reverse. That's what I did. Yeah. Um, you're buying the long one from three to 350 at 14 and you're selling the short one Oh, I'm sorry. I have the wrong spread up on this side. That's what's going on. So you have three to three fifty, and then you want three fifty down to three. Is that correct? Well, it's trading to two ninety seven, right? So yeah, I got it. There we go. That one. So my problem was, just to explain what I was going through, this is the actual huge master one that's a full dollar. Okay. That's not the one I wanted. I wanted from three, we wanted three to 350, yep. and three to 250, right? Right, So right. now you're selling you're this one. You're pivoting around the 297, exactly, all right. There, that's, that's, there's, there's your trade. Okay, that makes more sense. So. 46 about, cents. Yeah, about well, 48, call it. Now, yep. what's interesting, so what I was gonna talk about was, these are the 50 point ones, right? I bet if you jump in here, and you're buying the three to 340 and selling, it's gonna be a very similar cost and you'd be giving up. This is what we showed kind of yesterday. Okay. Yeah, so 48, right? So look at how, and you're only limited to 260 and you're limited to 340, right? And that's more expensive. Uh, it's, it's, it was the same. It's, it, oh, it, it just the same. moved around It just moved okay, around right, okay. But you know, again, right. just illustrating where there's not a lot of premium when you start going out there, so why would you not do those, you know? Right. To, to be aware of those. So let's just jump and see what we have for the 11. So we're at 298. If we were gonna make this trade, we'd have the ability to go... Uh, 286 to 305? No, no we're going 295. 295, right. So we'd have a 33 cent head start to the upside kind of. So here's our positive one, 295 up to 315. That's the one that's gonna be more expensive because we're already in the money there. Yep. And then we're selling this one, which is out of the money, which is gonna be the cheap one. So you can see how weighted that is to the top side, right? You're looking right. at $45. Okay. So, and realistically though, this is a pretty bullish trade. I mean, all your value, you know, was to the upside. So if you wanted to break even to the downside, you would need this to drop seven, eight, cents, right? You needed to drop the three cents to get it back down to 295. Yep. And then you needed to drop the five cents to cover your investment. Just, Just on one side. No, no, on both. Because yeah. you're talking about, right, if it goes to the downside. But if it goes to the upside, it can just creep up, right? Yes. And then you'd okay, be. Okay, so let's see what we got here. If I take, uh, now this is a delayed quote I'm gonna get you, but let's see. So, 
It's pretty close to where it is right now. I'm just and again, I think we're looking at that's that's um, September, and we're looking at August in in Nadex. Okay. Yeah, no, they're going to react. Oh, look at this. This is interesting. So, so looking at this contract, folks. Okay, you had a nice little downdraft this morning. Sure. You do have an updraft coming into it, but. That's telling me that that thing wants to go to back to 294 or something, which is not much movement. Only a couple of pennies away. And right. we were just saying you need right. eight cents of movement to the downside right. to actually break even. Right. Let me go put, look at the UNG. So the UNG is the ETF for that, for the natural gas field. Yeah, this is not saying much either. It's interesting because, you know, it's interesting how in a day things can kind of change pretty quickly in, in these markets. Because yesterday, um, it was it was a nice little setup yesterday. I guess the prior day, Monday. Sure. No, day, Tuesday. That was that was a nice little pop. Yes. It opened you know? higher, traded higher. Right. So, well, we'll see where that baby shakes out. That's, uh, in fact, let's go look at that oil market from yesterday, too. Sure. So CL, I'll just look at the CL. Oh, here, was that? That was the contract. Back it up. The, okay. The the back. So is this what you were looking at? Bond trader bets ten million. Yeah, that's it. Here, that's let's it. pull that up yeah, just for a second because it shows the what that's Kevin nice was talking figure, about. I say, awesome so man. Vol I just had happens to say volatility Great. in the bond market is about to stage a comeback. Right. At least that's what one trader is betting, judging by the options market activity. Remember, Kevin said the one who's selling the strangle. Okay. Was the one who wants it to. To stay right, to stay, to, 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 to stay, stay with it. So that's the, that's the range. Yeah, that's it. Trader profits if yields rise or fall out of this range. Okay, cool. The ten, I got it. Okay, I wasn't sure what that meant. So if you're in your car right now, folks, what what, it, what we're looking at is that they got the scale up, and what happened is that when they put the strangle put on at 2.38 percent, I yes. didn't realize that that is what the that's what the ten year was yielding at that point. Right. So. The, the trader that's buying it is looking for that to go on. Above it or doesn't, below. It doesn't have to go much. Point, above or below 0 0.1. It looks like it's 2.48 yeah. and 2.28, right? Isn't so that wild? So 0.1 away from. But, yeah. Well, uh, uh, a tenth of a percentage move in seven days, that's some volatility. Right? Yeah. I mean, look at it right. that way, though. This right. isn't over the course of months, but what would you say, next Friday? Yeah, it's next Friday. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's, that's a big move, right? In right. terms of, because, I mean, just look comparatively, this is a six-month chart. Um, that would be a big move to go from yeah, a no, 0 0.1 percent move in okay. seven days. Right, would be a but that's probably why he million. probably got a great price on that because in theory, there's not a lot of premium probably right. with that type you know right. for that type of substantial move. Let's say okay, so let's say so on Tuesday someone put, ponied up almost 10 million to buy out of the money. So that's you know cheap. That's yeah. a put and call option simultaneous 10 10 year Treasury futures. It was known as a strangle according to data compiled by Bloomberg. The position caught the market's attention because it involved block sizes of about 63,500 according to the CME. A strangle of that magnitude is rare. Possibly unprecedented. Is wow. That, I know. Wow. That's, it, when I come across, he says, look at this thing, man. The strategy, that's amazing, too, when you think it's only $10 million. Yeah. As in the, the amount of money that's traded on Wall Street. And particularly in bonds. Yeah, and in anything. Yeah. It seems right. like that they'd be making those types of wagers as um, the strategy, which expires July 21st, uh, looked promising Wednesday when Fed Chair Yellen's testimony sent the 10-year yield down as much as six basic points. Turbulence is needed. That's that's cool. Well, we'll see. We'll follow that. July 21st. We'll see where the rates are at and see how that trader did. Yeah, here. Yeah, we have to send this to ourselves. 877-927-6648. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We'll send this to both of us. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. 
If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we go over these natural gas. Uh, natural gas, uh, it's, it's shaking around here. And here we go. Gas inventories rose 57 billion cubic feet last week. Uh, we'll get the expectation on what that was, but we had quite a little spike initially, right? Almost up to 301. We're trading at 298 prior okay. to that news. So three cents to the upside, and it pulls back immediately within the span of 30 seconds. We'll see, and we're right at where we were. Inventory's up. Yeah. All matters is expectation. We'll get that. But either way, the market's saying ho-hum, no big deal. Flattening out. Let's jump back to this article because yeah. we were reading some of this as we went. So this so, is pretty cool, folks. Yeah. An increase in volatility would be to a departure from the trend. The 10-year yield has risen or dropped by more than 10 basis points just four times this year on a weekly basis, which is basically what that trader needs, compared yeah. with 10 times in the same period in 2016. Uh Oh no, I I missed the good part, didn't I? Yeah, how much he's going? How yeah, much it can make? No, it's down a little bit more. There it is, right there. Stop there we go. There. Yeah. yeah. Therein lies the challenge for the trade. Small swings won't cut it. Ten-year yield would have to rise or fall about ten basis points to break even. But once it passes that point, there's no cap, obviously. For example, it stands to gain about fifty million for every quarter point move in either direction. Um, which would be approaching the highs and lows for this year, for the 10-year, though. And But then, guess what? You know, we get a lot of action. You get Yellen speaking today. You got bank earnings tomorrow. You get the CPI data yeah. tomorrow, let alone the political drama that could cause volatility um, right. in the dollar, the, the bonds at any point. Right. Um, and what I thought was interesting, too, they talked about... Open interest data released Wednesday confirms that there's new positioning in, in the options that form the strangle. The total volumes traded, the two options Tuesday exceeded the open interest, si and that's a little bit almost above my head, but the key part here, signaling that the market maker who handled the trade may have hedged the risk on the position, as in they don't want to bet against volatility either. No, right. So what happens is this, is that the a market maker that stays in business, folks, that's not greedy, right? They call it a U. You got a U like this. Here's the calls and puts, right? Sure. And they always want to be even at the end of the day. Sure. 
when John Nigerian was a big option market maker, right? And I was in his office and he was explaining, it was great, this is years ago, to really understand how they do it. Sure. Because I was always saying, I'm and he says, no, 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 we don't take positions. He right. says, see this? Because I saw I was at the, in his office at the beginning of the day and the end of the day. So at the beginning of the day, he has, I think he had 16 option traders then. It was Mercury Trading. So they had the big U. This is how they're positioned, right? And at the end of the day, they want to make sure if they have 1,000 calls, they want 1,000 sure. puts. They're just looking. They're market making, makers. They make the market. They do. They they're, the, they're looking at that little spread because sure. there's a spread. If sure. they can make the spread, they're all set. Sure. And if they're skewed the wrong way sure. and they go overnight, you know, sure. which some of them do, but and that's bottom. why you know that, that's why I thought that was interesting because yeah. you know they definitely do take those positions as much as you say that. There's a lot of market makers that will oh, hold yeah. positions and they'll oh, just yeah. be okay. You know, and they can right. always liquidate them as that market maker, but it seems like they didn't they didn't want to take that that the other side of that wager home at that's, night either. That's right. And yeah. what happens, folks, is which is pretty cool, is that market makers now compared to even then, they're, they're monsters, they're big banks, sure. okay? So yeah. what happens is that you can go in the option market and do that, they can go right in the futures market and do it also. Sure. You know what I mean? Just yes. hit a few buttons, okay, now we're hedged on both sides. And, yeah. and mathematically, um, I'm sure that this is done by computers now too. Do you know what yes, I mean? Yes, sure. Was, it was, that it can just hedge it, yeah. yeah, it was, yeah. Uh, it a was measure a, of the Treasury's volatility fell last month to levels that preceded the 2013 taper tantrum. Um, Merrill Lynch option volatility estimate or move index derived from over-the-counter options on Treasuries maturing in two to 30 years remains close to those lows. Wow. So we'll right. see what happens. July 21st, right? Yeah. It'll be interesting to see where we trade within that time. Um, but it looks like if they made that trade, I mean, that's, that's what are we at? Are we at 2.3? No, we're at, let's see where we were as low as 2.32 either way. Yeah, so he's at 2.38 or she's that, at whatever. Yeah, that's their, trade their that middle is. and they need... 10 basis we're at, points. Oh, we're at 2.34. That's four basis points he's got so yeah. far. All right. So I think 2.28 is where, to the downside, profits cut, start to come in. Yeah. Wow. Hey. Let's go over to the, uh, back to that, uh, oh, the uh, natural gas. We're at uh, not much movement, really. 297, right? Yeah, basically yeah. identical to where we were trading almost to the prior to the news, 298. Right. We got right. a quick spike up, but... Short-lived. Short-lived. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. And as we were talking here, uh, Janet Yellen must be yapping about something because uh, let's go to the E-minis first and take a look and see what they've been doing. So you get a slight... You know, the high of the, the morning, well, since the market's been open, the high was 2445. Got down to uh, 2439. Be interesting if the NQs, the NQs took a little hit here. They were up pretty good. So they were up 20, they're only up two now. And look at that high volume. Now, this is where, okay, so you get a high volume spike in the open. That's what we were talking about as soon as we actually come sure. on. Now that just got tested. Now this is where it's gonna get interesting. So 5780, how to get tested. The first, you know, was 16,000 contracts. And is it still, in, oh, this is pretty, this is okay. So we're only four minutes into this bar. That's, that's still a high, that's a high volume spike. Because 1036, yeah, we'll see where this, where this bar closes. Sure. You know, because that's, 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 that's saying right now that we're gonna actually six, Seven fourteen thousand. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot for intraday. Yeah. You know, um, if we go take a look at, we take a. Something. Okay. I don't know. Something just happened. I can't. I can't I think, hear right now. I think we're okay. Okay. So uh, if we go inside the NDX one hundred and we take a look at uh, the, the strength versus the weakness. Strength is liberty. Uh, that's up 4.6 percent. Orly, O'Reilly, O'Reilly, uh, up 3.4 percent. Look at this is this, this this one here is a dog. Yeah. But that's pretty amazing when you look at it. So it's the used car market, you know, the fix well, it, no, fixing not, market, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Auto parts. Auto parts. 291 down to 183. Um, it seems like as we talked about before, that's an industry that's kind of ripe for online deliveries and not going to the oh, store. Oh, that's right. That's not, that's right. That was Amazon too. I forgot it was it was more than just the online parts. That's their their downdraft started when Amazon said they're going to start selling auto parts. Sure. 
Um, Seagate Technologies off uh, 4.8 percent. Vertex is down two. Um, How about Amazon? Speaking of, let's look at them. They had some cool stats coming out about Prime Day. You buy anything on Prime Day? I didn't. I didn't either, man. I've gotten good. I got to, you know, I, I buy things I need, not I want. I, I try yeah. not to get sucked into sales because we live in a sales society of everything being on sale 24/7. Right. Right. So. Right. Uh, All I have to do is look at my garage. I ain't gonna start throwing, and I don't buy a lot, but I gotta start throwing stuff out. Do you know what I mean? Or giving it away or something. Totally. Right. You know. Um, yeah. So yesterday, as high as a thousand eight, trading just almost a hair under a thousand right now. They did a billion dollars in sales. Was it? it was it two billion? It's a, is that a billion? It's a, it. It said. Who said yeah. It said. Well, that's what I read, was reading yesterday. I thought I heard the two billion number. Yeah, because they they take it they take it in thirty two billion. Oh, there you go. Where is it? Right above where? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I saw the Echo Dot was one of, yeah. not one of, was their, the biggest product, totally. the most successful on that day. What was interesting, though, is that they didn't say how many they sold oh, as, they, as their most successful right. product on the day. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow's down 13, NASDAQ's off 8, S&P's a flat. We're going to be right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. And folks, if you did uh, miss uh, John Logan's um, webinar last night. He did night. an awesome job. I yeah. was watching it, and uh, it was great. We had a lot of Tigers in there. Hopefully, they took advantage of that free trial. They'll have 30 days. 
get used to the scanner and check out that archive of that webinar, which the archive is going to be published at about 12 today, so okay. about, an, about an hour. So I was saying, you know, there's you can still get in there. If you just go into newsletters on the front page, yep. services, Okay. there's the scanner, and there's Hit the page the with your free trial right there. You can watch this video we've been um, promoting with yep. John, the eight-minute video out there, but just sign up for the free trial. You'll get your download information for the scanner, your login information, and you'll get access to that archive instantly when it's uploaded in about an hour. Sweet. Perfect. Let's go to our man Carlos in California. Hey, Carlos, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you guys? Good how morning, Carlos. Yourself? I'm doing, I would say, all right and uh, trying to um, recover from a surgery I had uh, a couple of weeks ago. Oh, that's good. You, yeah. you, you feeling so, better? Uh, unfortunately not. Um, um, I got some issues uh, that I have to resolve, and uh, my biopsy came out not, not really good and, well, not good. Actually. Oh, that's and not good. To, okay, we're going to send you some good off. white light. we got to get this thing going, man. Well, actually, I got, uh, maybe it's not the time to, to say it, but uh, yeah, I'm going to have to make some real big changes. Uh, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to have to go back to Mexico, actually, because the uh, uh, insurance issues here are really out of control, and uh, I, I don't think I, I'm going to be, be able to handle it here in the United States. So, okay. Yeah, wow. Something I, I so, need to work on it. So what exactly is it? A cancer. Oh, man, bummer. Yeah. Yes, I had this issue before. I thought it was under control, but no. Okay. It's, it's not going away. So, um, yeah, it's something I need to work on it. But the um, the main reason I called Tom, <laughs> and uh, I'm going to be out, out, out of the um, trading because I have to <clears throat> actually uh, handle my... Uh, my health issues. No, we're, we're uh, going to be with you, we'll Carlos. Stay on it, man. We're we'll going to be, be all over you. this, one, man. We, we, all these tigers and tigresses, we're going to get you big energy, man. We're going to get you as much energy as we can gather up, man. This is... Yeah. Yeah. I really want to... I, uh, I was in contact with Mr. C. He's been uh, helping me a lot, and uh, I really appreciate his help. He's uh, been uh, such a gentleman. And uh, I'm going to end up selling my property here and then moving back to the house I bought in Mexico. Okay, good. Puerto Vallarta. Good. At least I'll be saving in insurance $1,500 a month. Yeah, that's huge, man. That's huge. Yeah. It's not counting co-payments. It's not counting, I mean, it's, it's no. huge. No. So I, I need to handle that matter. And oh, you got to handle it pronto, to too. That's yeah. This whole life thing is, you know, it's a big mystery. There's no doubt, you know, but... It's, you know, it's like, I, I say life's a mystery to be lived, not a problem to be solved. There you go. But boy, when you yeah. get hit with something like this, you know, meaning that you, evidently you've been hit with it before, that's pretty intense, man. Something I'm taking with me is the dam, because no matter how far away I'm from the, uh, from the United States now, I, 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 I've been able to be in the dam and be part of the family of the, uh, TFNM is a great pleasure. And, uh, well, we, you know. Uh, I, I'm going we to feel work hard to handle this and having a new life down there. It's going to be a, a new life because actually I've been here for so many years that I feel strange now in Mexico. So right. I want to work that out. Well, yeah. we, we, we want you to know that all our energy is with you, Carlos, and with your Definitely. family. Thank, and, you. You Thank know. you very much. And, and you know, it, uh, it's, I don't, yeah. it's it just, you, you got to, I know you're a positive person. You just got to stay as positive. As you can. And that's easier for me to say. I mean, I don't have cancer, okay? But the reality is that, you know, I know you can do it, Let's man. go out there so, and kick some butt, yeah, totally, and right. stay on it. And, yeah. and we'll be yeah. thinking about you and sending that yeah. light. And call us anytime. <laughs> I, totally. I, I, I'll be in touch. I'll be in touch. Oh, that's, that's right. Well, well, you know how this goes at TFNN. Once you're in, you can't get out, man. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Uh, it is um, true. <laughs> uh, um, um, I have a position uh, short on the s and I took the position this morning. Okay. I just want to know if I have a chance. It's right now I'm a little bit positive. Uh, if I have any chance, I have my stuff out of the high. And is there any possibility that we uh, can have at least a, a pull back to a certain level where I can take some profit? Can you, can you please? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, uh, you... you you had you get we had the first little downdraft here and so right now on the S&P on the E mini that low that just got hit at 10:30 that's a high volume low which is 24.39 so that gives it a shot that it wants to be tested um, anything under 
You know, we want to see it get underneath that again. Because, see, it traded, like, kind of at that level yesterday at 24.39. It would be really sweet to see it get under 24.37. Because if you get under 37, then you have the shot that it can go test either the high of that bar from 8.30, which is 24.33, or the low, which is 24.28. Yeah, I think you got some action here, man. Because what you also have, so if we go to the, let's go to the DAX just for a second. The, the DAX this morning, folks, hasn't been able to hold its highs. You know, the, the DAX and the, you know, DAX went to 12,676. You're at 12,623. It's like, okay. Um, and it's been the same type of setup. I mean, the DAX had a great day yesterday. Got over its highs earlier. Haven't been able to hold them. And that's normally a pretty good indication that our own markets won't be able to hold them because it's a kind of a one world market, you yeah. know, and they just happen to be ahead of us by whether it's, I think it's, it's either four or five hours right now. Yeah, yeah so I, I think you get cool. some action there, man. Oh, well, thank you so much, Tom. Well, Carlos, you, Tom. we love you, man. Love and, you, man. Thanks you know, for the call. Like I said, we'll be in touch, and uh, I'm selling here and I'm taking good profits from my property. Good. I'm going to do it now that the market is very high. Yep. And uh, my wife supporting me all the way. She's oh, I bet. It's, she's, she's amazing. Staying up with you all night trading yeah. is almost unheard of. <laughs> seriously. So, yeah, hey, listen, seriously. so did, did you say that, you're, is it Puerto Vallarta? Is that where you're going to be? Yes, it's Puerto Vallarta. And it's, uh, it's, it's more, more than a Mexican city. It's an American city now. It's, oh, and it's, it's all fishing, man. Yeah. i got to get on and go fishing. Maybe I can on and go yeah. fishing and go see you. i got to. Yeah, I've, I've been wanting to go there forever, yeah. man. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah, that's what there's, there's like a huge amounts of fish off there, right? Yes, it's uh, the uh, sea, the, uh, the the one with the big sword, the sword yeah. fish is very popular. Yeah. Yes, and it, it's it's uh, well, it's just a very nice place actually. It's not too far away from my hometown. It's an hour and a half from my hometown. Okay. So. Uh, I know the area very well, and the uh, the weather is excellent. Uh, so uh, I think I'm a 46 year old man, and I think uh, I still have a lot of miles to go. You do, do. That's you, right. There's no Definitely. doubt, man. That's there's, for sure. There's no doubt, man. Okay, brother. Thank you, guys. Okay. Carlos, thanks, man. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Yeah, I love fishing. I just I wish I could catch some fish. <laughs> That's why you just got to go on those little charter boats. I do, when you I go do. To destinations. There's, there's, no, there's no doubt. There's no doubt, man. You definitely don't know the lay of the land down in Puerto Vallarta yeah, for right. the fishing. Last time I caught a lot of fish, like, when I was like 10, 11, 10. <laughs> well, when I was 10, 11, 12, I used to go That's fishing. That's the last time you caught a lot of fish? No, by myself, yeah. Okay. I mean, I mean remember, okay. we've gone fishing. I know, I get That's pictures what I was about to but, say. But you always had a captain, do you know what I mean? We have plenty of fish, but... I'm with you. Yeah. You stay right there, folks. Uh, Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now down uh, four. Nasdaq's off two. S&Ps are off one. Send a lot of great white light and great energy out to our man Carlos, folks, and just keep it going. We go. We'll be right back. Trading is different than investing, but the opportunity to take advantage of short-term trends is only one if you get the direction right. Direction leveraged and inverse ETFs offer bold trades on U.S. and international stocks and bonds. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. 
As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-Minute Money Management Workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now uh, is flat. The Nasdaq flat. S and P's are up a buck and a half. And you, uh, I mean, Carlos, I know you're in the den, and we want to send a lot of white light out uh, uh, to do debt. Do debt also, uh, because uh, we got to send that white light. You, she is getting operated on tomorrow. Going through kind of something similar. So that's heavy, man. Lots of white that, light. Totally. Lots of white light out there. You know, everyone's kind of fighting a little battle, some bigger than others, right? So you just got to stay on it, man. They are, and that's what you realize. Two people, you know, it's, it's like heavy, people man. are. So just it's... stay on it, go to it, keep that positivity, that light, and it's easy to say, but you got to, right? I know. Totally. Well, you know, it's always been like, it's like, like, what is this all about? You know what I mean? You see, like, all of a sudden you're here, then you're not here, then well, you it's just there's there's so many things that go through your head, you know, that go through my <laughs> head. Anyway. Philosophy, Oof, yeah, yeah, no, I hear you. Right, exactly. you know what I mean? It's like, how does this work? Why, Total. you know, the, the cancer deal is a monster deal because it's like, why does this happen so dramatically? And there's yeah. so much of it. Yeah, you know, yeah. Um, the cool thing is, is that there, there's so many people that have are beaten it too. Right, no. you know, that's that's a that's a big number. I mean. You know, Technology and medicine's always yeah, advancing. It and is. It's a battle, right? It is, no yeah. doubt. You know, uh, market wise out here, yeah. And I'm gonna go get a bigger net so when I'm fishing. That's right. Fish with a net and make it a big one. Make it a big <laughs> one. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Seriously. Um, market wise out here, you know, well, bottom line, you get a flat market. Um, no surprises from Janet Yellen, I'd say. No, nope. Uh, the uh, the bond market. The 10 years uh, down five ticks. The king dollar is just laying there again. So it almost looks like uh, this is the market is going to be waiting here for the earnings, for the bank sure, earnings. Sure, yeah. And you got you CPI know? tomorrow as well. As well, okay. Um, so that was what they were talking about that bond trader that he picked a week that there could be some fuel to the fire with right. earnings, CPI, yelling, right. and just checking back in on natural gas coming into 11 o'clock. No real activity, right? Yeah. I mean, just under that, you know, we're trading at 298, so we're within a penny of where we were trading prior to that news. So I'm glad I didn't do that volatility trade. Yeah. And, and no. uh, the, I'm not sure if we covered the expectation, but the number came in at 57, and the expectation was 59. So that's okay. pretty close to where we were trading at. Yeah. Wow. Some of the uh, higher volume stocks out here, and we'll see whether we get any volume in this market today. It's always AMD up Look there. Look at that, isn't that It wow. is, that's it, yeah. Yeah, AMD's the, the highest volume stock today, too. I guess it's $14, maybe that helps, right? Cheap yeah. stocks, big share volume, et cetera. Right. Good. Bank yeah. of America's up 18 cents. You got uh, NVIDIA's up a buck 75. Uh, GE's up eight cents. You got Apple up a buck 27. Let's go That's look at Apple. For Apple yeah. yeah, it is a good move. And Apple's had a hard time moving, period. Yeah, yeah. it's sticking its head up. We'll see whether it can keep it up. It's sticking its head up there. The, 
Walmart. Oh, I know what we're going to. I'll just pull Target up. Okay, so Walmart is up a buck. TGT. Target came out with numbers. Oh, it's uh, not that much. That's that much, but it, hey. they, they got. The numbers were more than they expected, I guess. So let's see. Uh, they they had a boost in uh, comp sales. That's yeah. big. Yeah. You know? It's funny above home prior view. Let's see. Yeah. So they brought the view down dramatically. I suspect. Yeah. Right. The estimate was a uh, dollar six. They're going to make ninety five to a dollar fifteen. Boy, Seems that's like that's, that's a, quite a spread. Yeah. Yeah. No no doubt. Um, and if we take a look at just lows to highs. Oh man, yeah. They got a long way to go. Dead cat bounce, 85 to 52. You stay right there, folks. And man, Mr. Basil Chapman's coming up next. And of course, then we're going to swim lessons. It's going to be all about futures out here today. Oh, it's setting up the, uh, well, it's going to be about options. Earnings, so we're maybe. going to set up the options. Uh, Steve Rhodes, uh, Dave White, myself, and yep. it's Andy Heck. You got it, man. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Go get him, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.